Dreams can be big or small. They can be wild or quiet. Whatever they are, whatever form they take, this year we say power to the dreamers. Every one of you, welcome to the first Australian Fashion Summit. When it comes to our support for VAMF, we know that this festival plays a key role in our reputation and in our delivery as being a design and fashion conscious leader of the biggest consumer and retail driven event in the world. But the theme for this year's festival is power to the dreamers. Sometimes these dreamers are right in front of us like those entrepreneurs we see striding the international stage. But sometimes these are the people we don't see, the ones working behind the scenes, developing new e-commerce platforms to take our products to the world, or new fabrics or more efficient means of manufacturing. Clearly, each of these endeavours has creativity, creativity and creative thinking at its core. I'm sure you'll all want to see Australia become creative in tangible ways that benefit us all. Let's embed creativity in our institutions, our government and our schools. A creativity commission would go a long way to achieving just that. Creative doesn't just have to be artistic. Creative can be many things. If you have a feeling or an idea or a belief, pull something together. But it's about soul and energy and how you connect with people. Um, and for us, New World Retailing is moving from the analogue to the digital. Digital's absolutely exploded globally. It makes all of our brands accessible to the whole world. And we have to think differently. We have to hire different people. What we did yesterday is not good enough for what we need to do tomorrow. It's really about um, putting the customer experience front and centre, regardless of where they want to shop with us, whether that's online or in store or with one of our wholesalers. Consumers are demanding more than ever. So six years ago, perhaps that was a gap that we filled. Today, there's another change. There's a change around wanting brands to be more sustainable. There's a change around wanting to buy less. So New World Retail is understanding those massive shifts and thinking, what do I need to do to now be more relevant to my consumer and connect with them and have them want to shop with us as a retail brand? We're explorers out there. We've got to be exploring what the customer wants. But we've got to take risks. We've got to be adventurous. Otherwise, it just becomes boring. And we've really got to be ever-changing and adaptive. It's going to be different for every business based on what your business looks like today, who your customers are, and, and what's important to them. It's a nice idea that fashion might be able to save the planet. It's all about taking responsibility for our industry and in doing so, creating opportunity. Gen Z, millennials, they care about it, social activism, environmental concern. Business of fashion predicts it's a major sort of driver of the industry. There is money to be made in brands that are more purposeful to reach that target audience. That's what I'd like to see, people being welcomed into sustainability, thinking and linking it to creativity. I just want to point out the fact that you guys are all here for, the, for one reason, which is about making fashion better and doing fashion better. And you're all in different aspects and different parts of your journey in the fashion industry. The most important thing is take that first step and come together and utilize the resources around you. As we've made great progress in that, how can we go one step further in actually reducing our reliance on those raw materials altogether? How can we actually use recycled materials back into our collections? We're able to use post-consumer waste back into denim. Uh, we're looking at recycled trims and buttons. They make beautiful products. I suppose actually like Wabi Sabi celebrates appreciation of uh, our imperfection. The fact that actually you know, the imperfection become actually such a charming character, it gives actually a personality. We didn't actually throw away things so drastically. You know, we, we really treasured um, item around us. We, we try our best to minimize our waste. Um, and India and Africa, these are really, really interesting markets because they have very, very underdeveloped bricks and mortar retail structures. So what does that tell you? Go online in these countries first. You know, with 4G and 5G coming online, the online retailing is going to be first to reach a lot of the markets rather than bricks and mortar retail, which is the experience that we've seen in, uh, in China. We are working on this great new tech through fiber optics and also through Soundways, where you'll be able to look at high res images of fabric. On a touchpad, you'll be able to fill the fabric. 
that it's not just about fitting into a standard anymore like it was. We are making the standard. This is the new normal. We are the new normal. And when I say we, I mean all of us. You look at your Instagram comments and you see like, why isn't this girl my size? Or why don't you have more color diversity? Or why don't you have age diversity? The actual customer runs your whole industry, your finances. So you need to listen to them. And now people are finally listening. I've had people pinch parts of my body and say, if you just got rid of that, then these pants would fit. I've had people tell me like, oh, you're not just here for body diversity, you're for age diversity. You know, I mean, the list goes on and on, but you have to have a thick skin in this industry because everybody's going to say something. Everybody's going to have opinion. People are going to want to manipulate and pick apart your body. And it's your choice what you choose to do with it. And that's it. <laughs> I knew right then and there that it wasn't just my life that had been changed forever. It was going to be every other girl and woman's life who looks like me, who has cellulite, who has back fat, who has never felt perfect enough for this industry. They're gonna know like, oh, I am good enough. I am pretty enough. And thank you Sports Illustrated for taking that chance. Chinese consumers, what they consider when they buy products. I think they're the highest group that considers quality. So the product is key. You have to have pre-communication with true Chinese consumers because it's very different living there and understanding those subtleties in communication, in culture. That has an impact on a purchase decision on whether a Chinese consumer is going to accept the brand or not. Before, my observation was like it was all about the big brands. My parents' generation, they're about lovers of monograms. They think it's a symbol of status. They use that for social currency. But my generation is like, wow, there's so much more to talk about. This world is like a maze. We actually had an event in Collins Lane with a luxury retailer. I asked a lot of our guests for feedback. Like, we want really constructive feedback because this company is really looking to extend and improve their clienteling services. So having that kind of connection with this really on the ground audience has allowed me as a media brand to offer those solutions to luxury retailers. I felt very strongly about, you know, having this model was gentle on people and the planet and that it was going to enhance, not take away from those two elements. A friend kind of randomly just said, you know, you should really be doing something on your own. You've done enough for other people, in a sense, <laughs> and in the best possible yeah, way. Absolutely. But she was like, do something for yourself, like something like PE. And I literally fell off my chair. An organic beginning. Yeah. That little seed. <laughs> This vision of a flourishing industry will be possible because of your proactive decisions to safeguard our resources and bravely question our current practices. As key players within it, you all have the power to not just inspire change, but achieve it. So set yourself a goal. Let your customers and stakeholders hold you accountable. And then let's get on with it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.